Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the gospel for our reflection today on the fifth Sunday in Lenten season is St. John's Gospel, chapter 8, verses 1 to 11. This is the narration of a woman being caught in adultery, brought to the presence of the Lord for execution. This is also supposed to be uh, a trap plotted by uh, the Jewish elites to test Jesus. We know the response uh, of uh, different nations towards the accused and the offenders are different. In some countries, those who are accused or the offenders or criminals are supposed to be innocent until they are proven guilty. That means they do not lose any privileges of being a citizen of that particular country. On the other side, in some of the countries, if someone is accused of a crime, that person is presumed to be uh, an offender, uh, guilt until the day he is proven innocent, and thus that person might lose some of the privileges as a citizen, like uh, uh, permission to travel abroad, etc. We find a similar situation in today's Gospel, a bipolar response of the crowd gathered around this woman being caught in adultery. On one side, Jesus reacts with mercy, on the other side, the Pharisees and scribes being judgmental to her. Jesus tried to help her to get up, but on the other side, the Pharisees and scribes tried to put her down. Jesus tried to see a saintly future in her, whereas on the other side, the Jewish elites tried to see the sinful past in her. On one side, Jesus tried to see a potential disciple in her, but on the other side, the Pharisees and the scribes sees in her a sinner. Jesus tried to throw mercy at her, but on the other side, the Pharisees and the scribes are there ready to throw stones at her. So Gospel on this London season tells us to be agents and missionaries of God's mercy. And this is uh, the face, uh, this should be the face of a Christian, identity of a Christian and the face of the church on this earth. In the year 2015, December 8, on ways from the day of the Immaculate Conception of Our Lady until November 20, 2016, on the Feast of Christ the King, Church celebrated as the extraordinary year of uh, God's mercy with the motto, with the slogan, Be merciful as the Heavenly Father is merciful. By celebrating this year of mercy, Pope Francis was intending to present church as an institution of mercy, not as an institution of uh, legalistic complications, but as an institution of God's mercy. And thus he invited every Christian to be missionaries of mercy, to be agents of God's mercy on this, uh, on this world. When we have a heart of mercy, it helps us to look beyond the exterior appearances of the person. For example, in today's Gospel, when Pharisees and scribes who had no mercy in their heart, they couldn't see uh, a possible saint or a possible disciple uh, in her. But Jesus, while looking through the lens of mercy, he is able to see beyond the external appearance of that woman as a sinner. Jesus is able to see in her a potential disciple, a saint in her. Why? Because mercy, eyes of mercy, helps us to see beyond the corrupted face of any person, to see the image and likeness of God 
in every person so if you are uh, able to see beyond the corrupted face of a person face being corrupted by sin we are able to see uh, the the true dignity of a person the image and likeness of god that helps us to understand to forgive and to accept everyone who are around us once someone said christianity in its name is optimistic because as far as the past is concerned they believe in a forgiving god as far as the present is concerned they believe in a providing god and as far as the future is concerned they believe in a protecting god amen